So let's find the greatest common factor, the GCF for 24 and 56. So when we're talking about the GCF here, it's also called the greatest common divisor or the highest common factor. These are all the same. So for the GCF, what we do, we find the factors here of 56 and 24. We find the common factors and then we just choose the greatest one. That's the GCF. So for 24, these are the factors. For 56, 1 times 56, that's 56. 2 times 28, that would equal 56. I think, let's see, 4 times 14, that's 56. And then 7 times 8, that's the one that we're probably familiar with. 7 times 8 is 56. So we have these factors here. Now we want to choose the common factors. So 1, that goes into 24 and 56. 2, yeah. 4, that's common between both numbers. What else do we have? It looks like the greatest common factor is 8. So in answer to our question, the GCF for 24 and 56, that's 8. There are other ways you can do this, like prime factorization. But for these numbers, this seems to work pretty well. This is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.